Welcome back. The big game is on everybody's minds as the Chiefs and the 49ers gear up for Sunday. Here with me to talk about his time in the NFL and Sunday's big game is former NFL player Daniel Kilgore. Look, I took the apron off just for you, man, okay? Because, <laughs> you, you, you know, cause I, that's, that wouldn't go over well me talking football, you know, right here with an apron on. But you played 10 years uh, in the NFL. And here's the thing. You just told me, you are you the only player or one of few players that play for both head coaches? So I'm the only retired player to have played for both Kyle Shanahan and Andy Reid. Wow. And then the only player to ever play in the Super Bowl with both the 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. So it's pretty cool. You know, I said you played for 10 years. You started with Kansas. Uh, you started with San Francisco, mm -hmm. played there for seven years, and you played in Miami, and then you played at uh, Kansas City. Kansas City, correct. I got them all. Uh, and so I guess, and I'm going to ask you at the end who's going to be your mm -hmm. Super Bowl pick, but I guess really your heart is with San Francisco, right, because you were there the longest? Yeah, I definitely uh, definitely love the 49er faithful. Um, spending seven years, seven seasons out there. Um, definitely still have a lot of close friends that live in the Bay Area. Uh, I definitely am rooting for uh, Coach Shanahan to get his first Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. and I think it would be very special mm -hmm. for him to get his first Super Bowl win against a coach who also got his first Super Bowl win against Kyle Shanahan. So, and that's Andy Reid when they won back in 2019, I believe it was. So, yeah, I'm pulling for uh, the Niners, okay. but I'm also pulling for the Chiefs. Uh, We'll, we'll predict the score a little bit later. Okay, kind of had to play on the words, left my heart, and or <laughs> whatever. Uh, what are the players feeling right now oh. as you get two or three days away from the big game? Uh, so my last year in 2020 was with the Chiefs, and that was the year of COVID. So those circumstances were a lot yeah. different. Uh, and then and that was, of course, when I went viral with a half haircut, the yeah. close contact, if you remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but my experience in 2012 with uh, San Francisco when we were in New Orleans, um, you know, that was, I love New Orleans. I love the city. We were in, enjoying ourselves in the city. But the closer to the time of the game, the, the families start coming in on Thursday and mm -hmm. Friday, uh, the more surreal things get. And so uh, the nerves are starting to set in. Uh, you're getting closer to with the meetings and, and really dialing in those last final touches. Uh, anxiety starts kicking in, and, and you just remember, you know, I remember Beyonce was a halftime show and everything that was going on. Then the lights went out. Um, it's, it's just amazing. It, it, it's so uh, rewarding to even make it to Hell that yeah. point. Uh, but I was I was just so thankful and and. You know, just everybody that was included and my whole family was there. I was so thankful that they could all be there. All right, we got about 45 seconds. So, yeah. so tell me, who are you picking for the big game on Sunday? Well, I don't, I don't gamble, but if I was, okay. I would not gamble against Patrick Mahomes. Wow. Uh, but I, I see this game going to overtime and okay. it coming down to a field goal. And, and if anybody, you look at this, these two teams, they're so evenly matched. Uh, I think Kansas City has the – the upper leg on on with the field goal kick. Yeah, yeah. Butter, so, so no Brock Purdy. Uh, it's a great story. It is a great story. Hopefully, hopefully he wins and, and they make a movie about no it. No McCaffrey. No McCaffrey. McCaffrey too. McCaffrey. He's tough, yeah. isn't he? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Daniel Kilgore played in the NFL for ten years. Played for. San Francisco and also played for Kansas City, played for both coaches as well. He's now the uh, head football coach of Providence Academy after your first year. We wish you the best next season, man, <laughs> as he continues to grow the program. That's going to do it from here. Let's send it back to the desk. Ansley?